All right there, everyone. President Trump is exploiting DACA to build the wall and completely overhaul immigration. That's what we'll be talking about on today's video. But first, as always, a very warm welcome to all of our first time viewers. I post two videos a day analyzing current events and a lot of some really awesome conservative trends. So if you would, please smack that bell and subscribe button. It'll be an absolute privilege to have you as a regular part of this channel. All right. So President Trump has made his major announcement regarding the government shutdown over funding for building the wall along our southern border. Trump is offering temporary protections three years for illegal aliens that qualify for what's called DACA, which refers to Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. It was an Obama-created amnesty program that gave nearly a million young illegal aliens protected status and work permits to remain in the United States. Now, Trump, of course, revoked that program his first year in office, and we knew that he was doing that in order to use it as a bargaining chip with the Democrats in the future. We've talked about this before. And so true to form, he's done just that. And what's so brilliant here is that in offering some form of amnesty for DACA recipients, uh, the, the Democrats are going to just have to, however reluctantly, unwind the reforms of the civil rights era, which supposedly got rid of decades of racially biased guidelines and quotas. In other words, Trump's DACA initiative would be a complete overturning of the 1965 Immigration Act, which has been the single greatest source for an expanding liberal Democratic voting base. They're going to get rid of the diversity lottery and give up what's called chain migration, which would put an end to family-based migration patterns. In other words, and this is key, Trump is using the DACA negotiations to totally overhaul legal immigration policies in the United States. Trump is using DACA to completely reframe American legal immigration law. This, to me, is what is brilliant about this. Even pundits over at CNN are realizing that the Democrats are going to more or less end up accepting as normative what were once thought to be hard right or far right anti-immigration sentiments and reframe them now as mainstream consensus positions among Democratic politicians. Trump has always been about overturning America's legal immigration policies that have been the single biggest contributor to liberal Democratic majorities in California and the like. And with making what was once considered, again, hard right immigration policies mainstream, Trump has basically won the debate. As we pointed out before, Trump is going to get his wall. Because globalism entails these transnational economic and political dynamics, globalism tends to render national borders obsolete, as particularly evidenced in mass migration, both legal and illegal. And these open borders we're finding in study after study here in the United States, but primarily in Europe, Canada, we're finding they're, there's an, they're provoking an enormous sense of anxiety and insecurity among extant populations, and that the sense that the very national security that the nation state is supposed to provide is withering away. And so what we found is that in uh, counties that have had the, the most amount of immigrants, particularly illegal immigrants, moving in between the years of 2000 and 2015, those counties that changed most dramatically in terms of an incoming immigrant population, they were disproportionately more likely to vote for Donald Trump in 2016. Counties in Wisconsin, Iowa, Michigan, Pennsylvania that had voted Democrat in every election since the 1980s, voted for Barack Obama twice. They suddenly voted overwhelmingly for Trump, some by a 15% margin. This is the massive backlash against unfettered immigration that we're seeing not just here in the United States, but indeed throughout the world. And so as we pointed out in other videos, that's why 2016 has been called the year of the wall. It's been called the year of the wall precisely because everywhere you look, nations were tightening up their borders, right? France, Hungary, India, Austria, Greece, Italy, Israel, you can go on and on and on. Everywhere we look, border walls were going up. They were not coming down. In so many respects, the Democrats, uh, in trying to stop Trump's wall, are speaking a language from the 1990s or maybe in the 1960s. You know, it's a civil rights-based tolerance, multicultural language that developed from the increasing influence of globalism, but before mass populations began to see globalism's devastating anti-cultural, anti-national effects. This is why more and more people are siding with Trump and less and less are siding 
with the Democrats. And so this is why I think President Trump is going to win this hands down. I think he's, in fact, already uh, won this. He's going to get his wall. He's going to get his enhanced border enforcement. And with it, in many ways, he will have gotten the crown jewel of his political platform for 2016, and that'll put him in an excellent position for 2020. So as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please click on either our Patreon, subscribe, star, or PayPal links below and become a supporter of this channel and help us to continue to analyze current events and let us some really awesome conservative trends so that you can personally and professionally flourish. God bless.